another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died, so there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it, after we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it before. I was like, really just ramming in and out. Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? So, who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much, Lord. Why would you write something like that? Because I killed her! Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. When I got there... And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward... Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. As soon as I heard that... I just knew! I knew she was gonna try and kill me! She was gonna kill me and make her escape! So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance! I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head! I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea what was happening! Then she just... went limp! I didn't see her move again after that, once it was over. I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me. Boil me. Do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hiro's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hiro's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that even matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left in the crime scene? And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is missing! Ding, 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 ding. You are a winner! So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. That was just something different. That ended up putting everyone's... It's a lie! I'm loving. I hate you! I curse you! Thank <laughs> you. 
No way, I had a minute, a few seconds on the boat. Did you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker? They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? Okay then, let's just compare it to your shall we? Wasting my okay, it's not too bad. She just straight up at me. Then you killed Ski No! I swear that out with it. Probably straight up at me. Wait. What do you give us the details, Togo? Oh, now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. Yeah. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. So after you left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't even mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sokka after I put the magazine back? I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling and when I turned around. There was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Get it back! It was your fault after all! My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me away. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes. Water everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I expected it was the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me in. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! Well then, that's that! Let's start the boat! What's wrong? Come on, Ed. No. Well, not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. Tell us your story one more time. Then even... Do you wish it my command? Don't... I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I and where to be attacked? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shelf! No, 
Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another like I said a lot, a couple episodes ago, episodes ago, that was the game point for me. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. Yeah, but Toka was not in the room when we found it. So she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No, I don't think that's possible. I got it! Even before we opened the door to the rec room, and I both got a look inside. The door was already open. The locker was already open. So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding anything. Hmm. Okay then, where was she hiding? I don't know. What's this whole locker room thing about anyway? Who do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying! No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And... Well, well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Let me get some seconds back and I'm getting quite close. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a case <laughs> related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You need to check in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knee! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can... explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! 
Houses, mixtures, and chemicals. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where did you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Um. Oh, no, no, B. B, not D, not A, B, C, not B, A, C. The was actually in Section A. You just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Well, what do you mean? I mean... This. Sakura. That is the true cause of death. 
you know? I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. <laughs> I already know exactly who swapped the Wow, okay. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. I got it! The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. <laughs> I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, <laughs> the footprints were in front of section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. You're the smaller, so I assume everyone knows what is... If Makoto's foot isn't big enough, or it's too big. Small enough for to be um yeah. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Ogre's killer was Yeah, I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are uh, me and Hina. Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Yakuya. That explains what. Are you Roy? Size. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... the two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Is it true? Did you really... kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein again. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And then... Hold it. I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honey words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. How many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, 
If you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it. It just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy to right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. Yeah, well that was... I was just nervous. So, I didn't notice I'd left the footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. Well, what can I do? Listen, Hina, could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. H how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please, I'd like to know too. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Mm, yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's... That story you just... First you went to section C to get the poison then move to Section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. The actual footing will be wrong. She would have to go back to the desk, put the bottle down so she doesn't drop it, and then go to A. But she would have already dropped it. One more time. What's wrong with you, Big Mac? It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? Which one? Yeah. And I grabbed the bottle and dropped it. And then, I moved from section C, and that's where I switched the bottle. When I was done, I took the bottle first, then I took the bottle, and that's the cat's all there. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we talk about? First I went, but that's when I grabbed the bottle. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of you. Okay, and then, I moved from section C to section A. I don't know why I use an exhort bolt with it, but that's we're getting close to the end of this. Then we have the closing argument, and that's it. Just said. What? 
then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Ina just said? What the? Ina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, uh, you lied to us. Plain and simple. The powder had already been spilled when you... So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Oh, well... What the, what the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her. Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already! What is it you think you- I found this. It had fallen to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Huh. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. It, I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. You're right, it must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... This all happened before. Um... This all happened before the, the investigation. The the shelf in the chem lab. And yet... Somehow, a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Nina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked, there's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the lock <laughs> was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? That can wasn't there when she died. How did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. Okay. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. <laughs> oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? So. When it comes to the protein can, and the protein is source of protein. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone went through there after we got the door open? No, no, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. 
It had to be. It was in there before the red blue was. No, it's wrong. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. <laughs> And he was the one that went to the chem lab during the investigation when he was told not to move from the room. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it. If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear. As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison, and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. That's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is... She drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it, knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? She had to make it all the way upstairs. And then I want to... Fuck, that was hard. I just got a bomb shot on my face. Oh my god. I gotta loosen up here. I refuse to give up.